walking through the streets of Burkina Faso or any of the other Francophone countries, you are sure to find some remnants of French colonialism. It could be a street named after a French colonial ruler, a statue of one French colonial master, or even the French language spoken by a passerby. They are all evidence that at one time these African countries were under French rule and they tried to impose their culture, ideas, and language on the African people. Although the African people resented the domination by France and other Western powers, which led to the struggle for independence that they later attained, some of the remnant colonialism that paid tribute to the colonial masters was left untouched. However, with the wave of coups in recent times, which has led to anti-French sentiments rising across the continent and French forces getting kicked out, some African leaders have gone further to remove traces of their colonial masters. For instance, Mali recently removed French as the official language of the country, and now in Burkina Faso, a major street in the capital city of Ouagadougou, which was named after the French colonial era leader Charles de Gaulle, has been replaced with that of Thomas Sankara, a pan-Africanist, hero of Burkina Faso, and beloved former president. The street was formerly called Boulevard Charles de Gaulle but has now been changed to Boulevard Thomas Sankara. The formal renaming of Boulevard Charles de Gaulle to Boulevard Thomas Sankara took place at a ceremony on Sunday, commemorating the 36th anniversary of Sankara's assassination. The military junta of the country, Ibrahim Traore, was present at the anniversary, and he was the one who laid the foundation stone for the Thomas Sankara Mausoleum. He was also the one who renamed the street after Sankara, Burkina Faso's hero. Speaking at the anniversary after laying the foundation stone for Thomas Sankara's mausoleum, Traore described Sankara as a man of vision whose legacy continues to inspire the African people. He said, I pay tribute to a man of vision, an inexhaustible source who nourishes the inspiration of the African people, particularly those of Burkina Faso, in search of total sovereignty. The president also added that Thomas Sankara is a name that drapes this boulevard with the seal of dignity and sovereignty of our people, in keeping with our history, our spirit, and our soul, marked by anti-imperialist convictions. It was a beautiful ceremony that not only paid tribute to the national hero but also served as a way to decolonize the streets in Burkina Faso. The vice president of the International Thomas Sankara Memorial Committee, retired Colonel Major Dauda Traore, commended Burkina Faso's military rulers for this iconic move. Burkina Faso, however, is not the only African country that has endeavored to decolonize its streets. Similar moves have been made in Ivory Coast and Senegal. In Ivory Coast, Former French presidents Valéry Giscard d'Estaing and François Mitterrand are no longer honored by boulevards. Instead, they have been replaced by the first Ivorian president, Félix Houphouët Boigny, and other local figures. Similarly, in Senegal last year, opposition leader Ousmane Sonko removed Charles de Gaulle's name from an avenue and renamed it Peace Street after becoming mayor of the Zigwincha district. Other signs bearing the names of French colonial personalities were also replaced. This significant renaming in Burkina Faso and similar actions in other former French colonies reflect a growing sentiment to decolonize and assert national identity. It's a story of history being rewritten and symbols being redefined. Although Africa has not completely broken free from the chains of colonialism, with each anti-colonial action taken by African leaders, soon enough Africa will be completely free. In Tanzania, the renaming of streets in the city of Dar es Salaam has been undertaken to reflect the country's post-independence identity and honor Tanzanian leaders and historical figures. After gaining independence from British colonial rule in 1961, Tanzania embarked on a process of reclaiming its history and cultural heritage, including the renaming of streets that previously honored colonial figures. Streets that were originally named after British governors, colonial administrators, and other colonial era figures underwent a transformation to highlight the contributions and achievements of Tanzanian leaders. The renaming aimed to celebrate the nation's own heroes and emphasize its independence and self-determination. 
This significant renaming in Burkina Faso and similar actions in other former French colonies reflect a growing sentiment to decolonize and assert national identity. It's a story of history being rewritten and symbols being redefined. Although Africa has not completely broken free from the chains of colonialism, with each anti-colonial action taken by African leaders, soon enough Africa will be completely free. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with more stories like this from around the world.